Baby, I'm home! <laughs> Happiest ako kapag listo at ganado siyang kumain. Happy and healthy siya sa Nutri Chunks. Recommended by my vet. Nutri Chunks is the only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat and fortified pa with essential nutrients that help keep him strong, healthy, and happy. Listo ganado sa Nutri Chunks. Baby, I'm home! <laughs> Happiest ako kapag listo at ganado siyang kumain. Happy and healthy siya sa Nutri Chunks. Recommended by my vet. Nutri Chunks is the only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat and fortified pa with essential nutrients that help keep him strong, healthy, and happy. Listo ganado sa Nutri Chunks. Baby, I'm home! <laughs> Happiest ako kapag listo at ganado siyang kumain. Happy and healthy siya sa Nutri Chunks. Recommended by my vet. Nutri Chunks is the only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat and fortified pa with essential nutrients that help keep him strong, healthy, and happy. Listo ganado sa Nutri Chunks. Baby, I'm home! <laughs> Happiest ako kapag listo at ganado siyang kumain. Happy and healthy siya sa Nutri Chunks. Recommended by my vet. Nutri Chunks is the only one with active boost and prebiotics na pampalisto. Made with real meat and fortified pa with essential nutrients that help keep him strong, healthy, and happy. Listo ganado sa Nutri Chunks. Hello, parents here in our FB Live. Welcome to hashtag Pomaly Planning episode two. Essentially for you, I miss you guys and I'm sure you're excited to learn more about parenting. But before that, let's feel the virtual warmth by sending our reactions here in our live session. So come on guys, mag-send naman kayo ng mga reactions dyan para lumabas din siya sa feed ng friends nyo, okay? So feel free na pusuan ang ating Facebook live stream or you can comment your shoutouts down below. So pwedeng-pwede po magpa-shoutout. Wala nga lang pong jacket, okay? At syempre, huwag natin kalimutan to share this Facebook live sa inyong mga friends who love animals and yung mga gusto ding maging parents themselves. At syempre, sa inyong mga kapwa paw parents or pet parents already. So, Nutri Chunks Pomely welcomes you. So don't also forget to use our official hashtags for this Facebook Live. Hashtag Pomely Planning and hashtag Essentially For You. And syempre, wag niyo rin kalimutan to tag us. It's at Nutri Chunks Pomely. And I also tag them on Instagram. So they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're everywhere. And syempre, bago tayo pumunta sa ating sa exciting part, okay? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rika Garcia, your co-parent and your host for today. I think I've hosted for Nutri Chunks for three times now. And it's nice to see you all again here. And again, thank you for joining us and thank you for telling your friends as well. And last time we talked about planning your pomely, you know, from giving the resources to choosing the right dog, having the benefits or the benefits of having a fur baby. Alam you guys, it's truly an exciting discussion. Because right now, we will go naman to the essential things that your fur babies need, okay? And syempre, how can we be a responsible parent ourselves? So if you want, you can take out your phones. If you want to take notes, if you have a piece of paper there. Because all of this, all of the things that we're going to say today are essential. And you can also even screenshot the important uh, information that you want to remember so that it's on your phone. And speaking of responsible parenting, join our Pomaly so you can access our exclusives on promotions, discounts, and updates. And syempre, shop products that are suitable for your fur babies, regardless of their breeds and life stages. Okay, so be an official member of the Pomaly by signing up at our official website. So we have it here right now. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> it's www.sanmiguelpetcare.com and it is on our screen right here. This is so cool. Thank you. And in San Miguel's pet care website, we do deliver, okay? 
So that's right. We deliver to Pomelis with, within Bulacan, Rizal, and Greater Metro or in Greater Manila area. Actually, just a friend of mine messaged me earlier when I posted about Nutri Chunks. Sabi niya, actually, kumuko kami dito sa Bulacan niya, nagpapadeliver kami. So it's super convenient. You can pay via cash on delivery, go cashless using your e-wallet, Dial time is essential and we don't want to consume your time traveling or commuting, right? You can just stay at home, stay safe, and have quality time with your fur babies and we will do the job for you, okay? And for me talaga, I can say na malaking convenience when you have your fur babies food delivered right at your doorsteps. So, you know, I mean, aside from it being heavy that you have to carry it around from, you know, the store to your car to your house, at least ito, Diba? They will deliver it right at your doorstep. And syempre, pag super traffic, energy consuming, diba? Nasa pandemic pa tayo, plus the fact na sobrang mahal pa ng gasolina, they, it's so convenient and it's just really nice that they deliver to your house. And again, you can check it out at www.sanmiguelpetcare.com. It's right here on uh, the screen. So ito na nga, last time, as a kickoff to our hashtag Pomely Planning Facebook Live, we talked about how to start a Pomely, right? Where we discussed about the resources we need to provide as parent wannabes. Siyempre, we need to consider the, the time, first of all, maintenance, and our living space. Um, actually, yun yung isa sa parang na, na isip ko, oo nga, no? and especially because me, I live in a condo which is pretty small diba you have to consider that um also lifestyle and maturity after that we talked about how we can choose the right dog for us na suited para sa kanya or, or sa kaya nating ibigay sa kanila tama ba lastly we di- we discussed the benefits of taking ha- and having a, a fur baby para talagang we know how to start our pomely hashtag for real. Now, can I see from the audience, sino ang nakanood sa ating first episode? Let me check our comments. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. And again, you can comment below para makita natin kung sino talaga ang tumututok sa ating FB Live. I just want to say hello to a couple of people. Hello to Ara and to Ariel. They said hello. And to Roel, who was here for our first episode. Don't worry. We will also be commenting and pinning the link of our previous episodes para naman sa ating mga watchers tonight na hindi pa nakakapanood ng ating first episode, okay? So, for the exciting part, here we go. Ito na talaga. Kaya you shouldn't be sleeping right now because we need to assess then for ourselves how we can be informed and prepared to raise our pets, okay? So we at NutriChunks Pomely believe that our pets are not just our priorities our uh, or liabilities to be fed, bathed, and sheltered. That but we recognize that owning a pet is a long-term commitment. And just like us, they have needs to be met. So speaking of needs, pag-uusapan natin ang unang part ng canine hierarchy of needs, which I never knew, okay? So this will be the first time that I'll be encountering this and I feel like it's also very helpful for all of us. So sa hashtag Pomely Planning Episode 2, essentially for you, doon natin yung pag-usapan, o, diba? Um, pero on a serious note, para sa ating mga newbie parents or parent wannabes, or even to those na long time na and experienced parents out there, let's discuss and review the basic needs of our canine Pomely members, okay? Our resident veterinarian, Dr. Zresha, will discuss the fundamental needs for our fur babies, starting with the biological, then the safety and preparedness. Kasama din natin today si Doc Andy Tan, ang ating infectious disease expert, para talakayin kung paano natin ma-achieve ang safe and clean environment para for the whole family, not just our fur baby, but also for the people living with a fur baby, right? Lastly, we have Miss Bernie Alfonso, our fab guest parent, to share her tips and experience on pet clothing. This is so cute. So talaga namang exciting and jam-packed ang ating Facebook Live session for today. So t- stay tuned. Sama-sama na tayong mag-hashtag Pomely Planning. Also, if you have any questions, just comment down below and our speakers will attend to your questions during our Q&A portion. Okay, so we have a Q&A portion at the end. Don't go anywhere. So, hindi ko napapatagalin pa to talk about our fur babies, food, shelter, and grooming. Let us all welcome our resident veterinarian, Doc Ferds Resho. Hello. 
Hello po Reds! I am Dr. Tresho and welcome sa isa na namang episode ng hashtag Pomili Planning. Kasama ang buong pamilya ng NutriChunks Pomili and Community. Recap lang natin last episode. We talk and discuss how to start a Pomili hashtag for real. Ayan, we've taken into consideration yung capability and yung capacity nyo no, to give and provide as for Reds. Together with assessing our resources, we talked about how to narrow down what dog to choose based on your personality and your lifestyle. I really like that episode kasi we had to lay our foundation clear and strong. Our fur babies have a different set of needs and nature than us humans. Wag po tayo mag-assume. Unlike humans, hindi sila nakakapagsalita. Kaya naman, take time to study and understand their needs. What is essential from our point of view is not necessarily essential to them. Maraming accidents, diseases, and other cases yung na-experience ko, yung common reason ay ignorance at negligence ng mismong pet owner o minsan naman yung iniwan nating bantay sa kanila. Pinakain ng candy, nag ng hair yung aso, binload rin na napakainit, pinakain ng grapes, chocolates, nilagyan ng kung ano-anong borloloy eventually cause harm to that pet. Better yet, to be a responsible parent, balikan natin yung basics. So, paano? For today, I'll be discussing and identifying two levels of needs in the canine hierarchy of needs. Physiological or biological needs. These are the basic needs. Of course, we have food, water, shelter, grooming, and clean environment, safety and security, and preparedness. From safety items such as leashes, harnesses, to medical care, vaccines, boosters, including them in emergency and disaster plans, to insurance plans. Physiological or biological needs ay tinatawag na ding survival needs. Ito yung most immediate and urgent needs. Halimbawa, eating, breathing, sleeping, or resting. Similar with humans, but madalas po itong na-overlook. Let's begin with food. Most of us, dito pa lang, sumasablay na. Either obese, overfed, pero undernourished ang karamihan ng mga aso natin. Yes, totoo po ito. Pataba, mukhang malusog, pero sakitin naman. Bakit? Well, iba yung nutrient requirements ng dogs compared to us humans. Dogs also have different ways of absorbing and digesting nutrients from the food that they eat. What do dogs need? Complete and balanced nutrition designed for dogs by experts. Hindi yung pwedeng puro gulay or puro preservatives or puro karni lang, no? Optimum blend of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates to support their daily energy needs. Others, puro kanin, pwede mag-develop into diabetic condition, yung ating alaga, kung ayan ang papakain ng natin sa kanila. Next, dog food should contain vitamins, minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D. Look for essential fatty acids and oils such as Omega-3 and 6 for healthy and shiny coats and healthier joints. You should also look for prebiotics. This strengthens and improves the immunity and promotes a healthy digestive tract. Bakit? Yung kasing intestinal tract ng humans ay mas mahaba. So we have more time to digest our food. Pero yung mga aso naman natin have shorter intestinal tracts. So kailangan yung pagkain nila mas mabilis mag-breakdown para mas ma-absorb nila yung mga nutrients incorporated in here. Lastly, palatability or yung tasty for our dogs. Siyempre, kailangan they use real meat and pet-grade ingredients. Mas sensitive din ang kanilang sense of smell. Kaya kung mapapansin, strong yung scent ng dog food. Dogs are more attracted to a good aroma. Usually, adult dogs like meaty aromas and puppies like milky aromas. Needless to say, because of their life stages. Next is water. Ayan, 
Mainit pa naman dito sa Pilipinas. A healthy dog should drink about 20 to 70 ml per kilogram of water per day. Ang dami nun. It also depends on their activity, yung playing nila, and yung, of course, yung weather conditions that uh, we are in right now. Always provide fresh, clean water to your dogs. Kapag tamad naman uminom, pwede niyong isoak yung cables nila sa water or mas dagdagan natin ng flavor yung ating tubig na binibigay sa kanila. Ayan. Next, to keep them safe and of course, provide them a place that they can rest and sleep. Especially for puppies, very important yung crate training. Next is grooming or hygiene. Different naman yung requirements sa pagpapaligo ng mga dogs. Kasi it varies from their breed, to one breed to another, magkakaiba yung kanilang requirement. But the general rule is, wag naman sobra. Overly washing dogs will cause skin problems too. Nawawala kasi yung natural oils nila sa kanilang skin. Ang tendency niyan, magdadry yung kanilang fur coat. Kung masyadong oily naman ang inyong pet or yung, yung breed ng aso, mas dalasan natin yung pagpapaligo sa kanila. So kailangan, alam mo rin at kumonsulta rin tayo sa ating veterinaryo. Tamang ligo lang kapag alam ninyong mabaho na or nagkakadumi na sila or dumudumi na sila from playing outside. Routine nyo din yung i-check at linisin yung ears. Brush yung kanilang teeth every day and cut their nails on a regular basis. Regularly inspect them for skin irritations, rashes, lumps, or sores, or external parasites. Physical activity or any physical effort to improve health and fitness. For example, morning walks, running, swimming, jumping, or chasing. Pwede as long as the amount of exercise is appropriate to your dog's age, health, breed, and medical condition. Herding dogs require a lot of exercise, like 60 minutes, twice a day. Brachycephalics keep exercise light and short or several times a day. Kasi nga pang sila, do it during the cooler parts of the day para hindi naman sila masyadong effort sa paghinga. Usually yan sa morning or sa evening. Here are some of the benefits of exercise to your dogs. Improves blood circulation and physical condition. It prevents constipation. It also improves sleep quality. Remember, a tired dog is a good dog. Exercise also builds alertness and confidence and keeps a dog mentally stimulated. It prevents their destructive behavior. So, dogs are either hunting, herding, protecting animals. Tandaan nyo yan. We bred and engineered them for a specific purpose. So, always go back to that purpose. Kailangan clean and safe ang environment. Bakit? Because dogs need to be comfortable too. Kung sa labas sila ng araw, expose sila sa adverse weather conditions, they, it can cause them to suffer or kung na, nababasa sila at nabibilad sila sa araw on a daily basis. Aminin natin, extra amount of work ang maglinis ng bahay when we have pets around. But always keep in mind that they are part of our family. That is part of the deal. To tell us more about how we can make things a lot easier and manageable, let's hear more from our infectious disease expert, Doc Andy Tan. Salamat, Doc Ferds. Actually, mamaya dadating pa si Doc. Ay, babalik pa ulit si Doc Ferds. Pero sobrang importante talaga what Doc Ferds talked about. As a parent, kailangan natin maging conscious and informed sa ating health ng fur babies. Uh, we really need to make sure na sila ay well-fed but at the same time, well-nourished. Actually, ang ganda ng point ni Doc Ferds na parang hindi ibig sabihin pag mataba, malusog, okay na yun. Kasi before, di ba, you'd be like, Gusto ko sobrang taba ng, ng dog ko kasi sobrang cute. But, you know, at the same time, that's also not healthy for them. So, also considering the weather here in the Philippines, we really need to ensure that our fur babies are hydrated too, sabi nga ni Doc Ferns. And just like us, our fur babies need a clean and, self, uh, and safe place 
to remember that uh, as our parent, we need to keep them hygienic and healthy. Kenaman, let's all welcome our resident infectious disease expert, Doc Andy Tan, to talk about how we can achieve total protection for the whole pomely. Hello, parents. I'm Dr. Endymion Tan, or Dr. Andy Tan. I'm a practicing internist and infectious disease na doctor. So basically, hindi lang ko tumitingin ng mga adults na may sakit, pati mga adults na may mga malulubhang or complex infections, ginagamot ko sila at dinadiagnose, syempre. No? Para sa mga pet parents or parents out there, alam kong hindi biro maglinis ng bahay at mag-disinfect. Lalo na kung may mga pets tayo inside our house. Kung minsan, labas-pasok sila from the garden, going back inside the house. They also shed a lot of danders. Yan yung mga natural na balahibo o mga furs from our pets. Yung mga natural na pagkahulog ng kanilang mga fur o balahibo o buhok. Kung minsan, kailangan natin pang i-vacuum yan. Other dogs drool a lot o yung naglalaway ng masyadong madami. On top of it, they defecate and urinate, nagpupup sila or umiihi kung saan-saan paminsan-minsan. To help you manage and achieve a clean and safe home, here's what I use and would recommend. The Protect Plus Gold Disinfectant Powder. Unlike other common household products that we use to clean and disinfect, itong Protect Plus Gold is very effective, very safe, fast-acting, even sa atin as humans at pati sa mga pets natin. So why is PPG effective? Because itong Protect Plus Gold can kill almost 99.9% of disease-causing na mga bacteria, fungi, viruses, pati mga parasites. This is broad spectrum. Ibig sabihin, malawak yung kanilang activity. So this is a broad spectrum disinfectant that is fast-acting and highly efficient in killing a wide range of yung matinatawag natin gram-negative, gram-positive ng mga bacteria, fungi, viruses, pati na ang coronavirus. We have to remember, ang coronavirus, ito yung virus na nagkakos ng COVID-19 natin. Pati na ang hepatitis virus, herpes simplex virus, influenza, pati parvovirus, distemper virus, at iba, iba pang mikrobyo na pwede mag-cos ng mga sakit sa ating mga fur babies or pets. Bakit mas siya madaling gamitin? Because this is fast-acting. Anong ibig sabihin? This one works in minutes. In fact, after 10 minutes, may effect na siya agad-agad. It is also very active. Mas na yung surface natin, na hugasan ng disinfectant, like soap, detergent. Kayang-kaya ng Protect Plus Gold yan. In 10 minutes, perfect. We can disinfect the surfaces. At mabilis lang siyang gamitin. We just have to follow yung insert ng product Sundin lang ang dilution na nakasulat dun sa insert, sa packaging. At saka syempre, depende na kung saan natin gagamitin. Kasi pwede siyang gamitin to, to disinfect yung mga surfaces. Water sanitation, aerial disinfection, cleaning the buildings, equipment, food processing facilities. And of course, very important, dun sa household at kung saan nakatira yung ating mga fur babies or yung mga pets natin. How come itong Protect Plus Gold is very, very safe? Kasi meron siyang magandang amoy. In fact, pink pang color niya at strawberry scented pa siya. Hindi siya masakit sa ilong. Very, very pleasant. Meaning to say, hindi lang to very safe for us as humans, pati sa ating maalagat at beloved na fur babies. Very, very safe. Lalo na sa mga dogs na may sensitive at ang heightened ng kanilang sense of smell, Walang problema yan. Very safe for them. So it is very safe also to use on their food contact surfaces kung saan sila kumakain. So to summarize, Protect Plus Gold is non-toxic, non-irritating, non-corrosive. Hindi siya nakakasira or nagkakos ng kalawang sa mga bakal na surfaces. Non-flammable. Hindi siya nagkakos ng sunog. As compared to other products, yung mga aerosolized products, mas makamandag mas delikado ang gamitin. Stain-free, mas kina this is pink in color, strawberry scented, hindi siya nagkakos ng pagmamansya. Very environmental friendly and very biodegradable, pati yung kanilang containers and byproducts. So saan ka pa ba? 
Ano pa bang pipiliin mo? Siyempre, we just choose one product that we save for our fur babies and of course for us humans. And of course, pinaka-importante, for the environment, dapat very safe. And definitely, we should choose Protect Plus Gold. That's it. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from this session. If you have suggestions, comments, questions, just type in sa chat box or comment box below at sasagutin natin yan sa Q&A section later on. So again, I'm Dr. Andy Tan, your internist and infectious disease specialist, and I'll see you in a bit sa Q&A. Thank you very much. Salamat, Doc Andy, for sharing your expertise in managing and achieving a clean and safe home. And in fairness naman talaga, bonga and sulit nitong Protect Plus Gold, okay? You have to take note of that. PPG. So aside from being fast-acting and effective in killing the disease, causing bacteria, safe pa for our environment. And for us, humans, syempre, tayo magtitake care of our fur baby, so we also have to be healthy, right? And of course, sa ating mga fur babies, it is also safe for them. Grabe, imagine using a product that's non-toxic, non-irritating, and non-corrosive. Yeah. I approve and recommend PPG most definitely. And parang narinig ko, parang strawberry scented ata siya. Ang sarap. I think PPG lang ang green flag. And speaking of green flag, pagdating sa usapang hayop, again, let's welcome back our resident vet, Doc Ferds. Thank you, Dr. Andy Tan. And speaking of safety, ito yung next level sa canine hierarchy of needs. After the biological needs, we now have safety and preparedness. Safety items or essential stuff such as leashes, collars, and harnesses. Ito yung very useful when you have your dogs with you outside or kung meron kayong bisita sa bahay. Easier to manage them. Lalo na kung medyo hindi sila sanay or hindi sila familiar sa tao or doon sa lugar na ginagalawan na nila or yung pinagdalhan natin sa kanila. Dog-proof your house too para less hazard sa mga aksidente. No? It's also good to have your pet's first aid kits that is readily available para kung kailangan natin sila, madali natin silang gamitin. For specific items, it depends on your dog's medical and breed history. Next on safety and medical preparedness is medical care. This includes at least an annual general checkup. I-update yung mga vaccines and boosters ng ating mga fur babies. Ano yan? The rabies. Five in one. Ito yung mga common na diseases ng ating dogs and cats. Siyempre, kasama din dyan yung tick and flea preventive, heartworm preventives, and the likes. Next is to include your fur babies in your emergency and disaster plan. We've seen this over the last disasters, no? yung dogs and other pets na iniwan na lang nung bumaha. Or nung nagkaroon tayo ng ash falls, na suffocate from the sulfur emissions ng vulkan. Now, let us all learn from that. Isama natin yung fur babies natin sa ating emergency and disaster plans. From having a separate and dedicated emergency go bag or kits for them. Proper identification too. Para kung sakaling nga hanapin natin sila, madali natin silang ma-identify. Pwede rin nating lagyan ng collars with name tags or even have them microchip. If you have your plans already, communicate and practice these emergency plans with other members of your family. Update and check your plan too. Lastly, no places kung saan natin sila pwedeng dalhin kung sakaling kailangan nating mag-evacuate. Takeaways. You can never go wrong when you have covered the most essentials and basic aspects of their needs. Less worry, more time to enjoy, relax, and have some fun moments with your family. Starting with the food that they eat, kung nutritious na, of course, expect that they will be healthy and active. If needs are not adequately met, ito yung maaaring mangyari. Your dogs may develop destructive and aggressive behavior. Pwede sila maging depressed or anxious. They may become antisocial or hindi kalmado and very loud barking yung ginagawa nila or howling and very hyperactive. No? 
when your dogs are exhibiting these behaviors or traits, sign po yun that their needs are not properly met. Kaya naman basics ang tawag natin sa mga essentials na ito for a reason. I hope you learned something. And keep on watching and I'll see you later sa ating question and answer portion. I-comment nyo na yung inyong mga tanong and I'll be answering them later on. Again, I'm Dr. Stresho, your resident veterinarian. Thank you very much, Doc Ferds. And alam nyo what Doc Ferds said is really, really important, okay? That as a pomaly, we must provide safety for our fur babies. We need to know and research their medical and breed history. At syempre, make sure that our fur babies will get at least an annual general checkup, diba? Again, prevention is better than the cure. Para rin we can act easily if ever our pets caught diseases. Pero you know, guys, pinaka natamaan talaga ako on my core level dun sa reality na during calamities, diba? Ang daling na, nag-iiwan lang sa atin yung mga alaga nila, diba? We saw viral photos of animals stranded in roofs, uh, roofs during um, a flood, photos of cats and dogs with no owners or shelter. Siyempre, ang sakit nun makita kasi, diba, they once had a family. They once had a pomely. And now they're just, you know, they're gone. And syempre, it's really saddening. Kaya naman, we must include them in our safety and disaster plan. Actually, natamaan din ako na dapat nga may first aid kit nga rin pala sila for um, our house. Kasi hindi naman tayo pwede mag-share-share ng first aid kit, right? Kasi after all, we are a pomely and no dogs, cats, or any pets should be left behind. Now, speaking of Pomaly, hindi rin magpapaiwan ang ating parent influencer, Miss Bernie. So let's hear Miss Bernie and her discussion on dressing your fur babies with style. Hello, everyone! Hello, parents! My name is Miss Bernie Alfonso, but you can call me Miss Bernie for short. Your fab and fashionable parent. I hope you still remember me, guys. As you can see, I am here again in SM City East Ortigas Paw Park. Pinaka pet friendly dito. While you shop, you can now have some active and quality time with your fur babies. We have several paw parks in SM malls, ha? Huh? Thank you, Nutri Chunks, with this partnership. We have paw parks which you can visit sa SM Masinag, Taytay, Aura, at Santa Mesa. Ang saya-saya talaga kapag kompleto ang pamilya na nagmamalling. But before that, isang essentially for you topic muna ang ating pag-uusapan. I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to dress up your fur babies. So previously on our last family planning episode, we talked about how to start a family for real. And now, until this episode, essentially for you. I'll be sharing with you guys how to dress up your fur babies in a safe but stylish manner. Yes, you heard me right. It has to be safe, functional, and comfortable first para your fur babies can really enjoy and move around and have a great time with all of you. Especially kung balak nyo silang dalin sa mga SM Pop Parks natin. Pwede nyo silang pabayaan at makapaglaro. Para sa mga katulad kong parent na very fashionable and stylish, importante ito ha, hear me out. Be responsible. Kasi importante na alam pa rin natin ang safe para sa kanila kahit na looking fab sila. As your Philippine pet fashion icon, meron akong habilin sa inyo ha, we have to put our pet's welfare first. What do we mean by that? Meaning putting clothes and accessories on our fur babies should enhance and make them happy first before us. I'll be sharing with you the general tips and guidelines and advantages of pet clothing. First off, ang pet clothing ay isang lifestyle but not for every fur. So hindi lahat ng dogs natin ay sinusuotan ng damit o kailangan kompleto ang suot nila. Yan ha, this is so true. Kasi bilang parent, it can be stylish. Bakit ang hindi? But hindi lahat ng fur babies kailangan lahat nakakabit. Of course, cute na matching or twinning yung outfit ninyo. 
But then again, be conscious of the weather conditions. At kung mainit, lalo na kung summer, syempre, ayaw natin silang mag-overheat, ma-stress, or magkaroon ng skin irritations. Take into consideration din natin yung kanilang coat and fur. For example, huskies. Then sa thick-coated sila, ha? so suitable for colder weather. Pero kung nasa Pilipinas ka at nasa mainit kang beach o kaya park, huwag mo na silang damitan. Okay na siguro yung scarf. I-research nyo yan. Kasi next, once you've researched enough whether pet clothing is necessary, suitable, and appropriate for your fur babies, it's easy to define and decide na what kind or which material ang ipapasuot nyo sa kanila. Kasi importante yon na kayo mismo ang magpe-filter kung ano yung safe para sa kanila. So it's a matter of informed choice and decisions you make for your fur babies. Remember, voice of the voiceless. Kayo ang magde-decide niyan. Next, pet clothing can help them feel that they truly belong. Pet clothing makes them feel welcome. And part of your growing family. Yes, especially when there's an occasion. Or it's their birthday that you're celebrating. Mahilig pa naman tayong mga Filipino na mag-take ng family photos, selfies, well-coordinated at my theme. Or color motive pa nga kung minsan ng ating mga outfits. Siyempre, kailangan kasama sila doon. Now, once taken some good shots, Pwede niya nang tanggalin kasi siyempre naiinida na sila lalo na kung napansin ninyong hindi na sila comfortable or gusto na nilang maglaro dahil delikado na maglaro-laro sila na may suot pa silang damit. Baka masabit ito. Para sa mga short-coated dog breeds naman, if clothing can provide them an extra layer of warmth. Some pet outfits naman are reflective. So makikita yan lalo na kapag tayo'y nagre-run sa gabi ng mga drivers. Other clothes, waterproof or water repelling, lalo na kung rainy season na. Another reason naman is putting them clothes na nakakales ng amount na dirt na makukuha nila. Especially kung outdoor, it reduces the amount of dirt that they get. Take it for example, yung mga paw shoes nila, yung mga socks, aside from giving protection na ma-burn yung paws nila kapag mainit, yung pavements, yung sahig o kalsada, eh nakakatulong talaga yun na maging dry at malinis pagbalik ng bahay. Other cool tip is, hindi nyo pa afford bumili ng accessories or clothes for your fur babies. You can be creative and resourceful. Kahit ano pwede, as long as it's safe, Repurpose old clothes or buy secondhand. Walang mali doon. As long as you clean it well, dahil may mga parasites na pwedeng maiwan doon, ha? Clean it well. Pwede din actually na yung mismong color and leash ng inyong fur babies na stylish na. Choose colors na mag-complement sa color ng kanilang coat. Madaming available color, leash, and harness that are made out of different prints and designs. And that's it! Those are the general tips, guidelines, and advantages of pet clothing. Marami pang iba pero maiki ang oras natin ngayon. Again, before breaking the bank or buying expensive stuff for your fur babies, prioritize and secure first ang kanilang food and nutrition. It's a big no-no to accessorize your fur babies kung hindi complete and balanced ang kanilang nutrition. At the end of the day, kapag happy, Healthy and listo ganado ang inyong fur babies? Yung coat at skin pa lang maganda na. Minimal accessorizing na lang ang kailangan. You can be responsible, practical, and of course, a stylish parent like me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later sa ating question and answer portion. Ha? I-comment nyo lang yung mga tanong ninyo and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Again, my name is Miss Bernie, your fav and fashionable part. Hi, parents! I'm back and thank you, Miss Bernie, for sharing your tips and experience with pet clothing. Sobrang nakakahawa yung energy ni Miss Bernie. Parang pin ko gusto tumalon. Gusto ko mahipaglaro sa fur babies namin. <laughs> so I completely relate to all parents that buying clothes for their babies is, you know, is, is, you know, it's pleasurable. But I don't know for all, but for me, it really brings me joy to see my dog in different costumes and clothes. I take a 
bunch of photos and I don't care if people don't want to see it, I will post it on Instagram. <laughs> so tama yung sinabi kanina, in a way, it brings a sense of belongingness for, for parents or for, for, uh, for parents. But, you know, I agree with Miss Bernie about uh, while it's cute for us to dress up our fur babies, we always need to consider their, uh, you know, if they're comfortable in it. And syempre, we need to check their breed and how they are adjusting to the current climate of the country so we can be informed. At syempre, if we decide uh, to buy clothes for them, make sure na may enough funds tayo for their food and nutrition. So, kumbaga, yung gagastos din natin for the accessories. Sobra na lang yun because nauna na yung food and nutrition, right? Kasi sa hierarchy of needs pa rin ng ating fur babies, una pa rin ang kanilang survival and urgent needs as discussed by Doc Ferds earlier, right? Sa ating mga audience today, maybe you have some thoughts about it. Actually, may mga nagko-comment na dito na true. Um, actually, ganun pala yun. Uh, I guess sila ang favorite na anak, sabi ni Al James Salazar. <laughs> Lagi pa daw naka-aircon kasi yung huskies nila. Kasi you really have to be responsible, you know. When you want to have, you want to, you want them to be part of your family, syempre bibigay mo ko ano yung kailangan nila, di ba? Um, so again, please ask your questions. Comment down below kay Mahiya. And pwede nyo naman din indicate dyan if you don't want your name to be called out. Just read the question. Then no problem. So to start our question and answer portion, we will now call on and bring back our speakers. Uh, dahil sila ang sasagot ng mga katanungan ninyo. Okay, so again, let us all welcome joining us live. Our fab and fashionable parent, Miss Bernie Alfonso. Hello, Miss Bernie. Hi, hi everyone. I'm really excited to be here. Hello. Hi, Miss Bernie. Kumusta naman ang inyong mga fur babies? Ah, uh, okay naman kasi hindi namin sila kasama today. Mm-hmm. Actually, same tayo. They're in the other house, pero mm-hmm. I know they're Pareho, happy. Pareho, other house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know they're happy kasi may sarili silang ano, electric fan. Ganun. Kasi oh, sa mga sarili silang ano eh, activities. <laughs> yeah. So, ayun. But I'm happy you're here. And to also yeah. join us this afternoon, let us all welcome our infectious disease expert, Dr. Andy Tan. Hi, good afternoon. So yeah, so it's good to be back again. Hi, Rika. Hi, Miss Miss Bernie. Yes, nice Hi, to Dr. see Andy. you again. Yeah, and of course, thank you for the um, Nutrichance Pomely for being here and for the invitation for this afternoon's FB Live session again. Yes, it's our episode two and complete ang pomely natin. <laughs> and to complete our set of speakers, let's make some virtual noise for our resident veterinarian, Doc Ferds Resho. Hello, Doc Ferds. Hello, Rika. Thank you very much again uh, sa Nutrichance and sa PPG, Protect Us School, for this session. Hello, Doc uh, Andy and uh, Miss Bernie. Ang ganda ng mga discussions Hello. yung kanina. Hindi ako mabuti. So, madami rin ako natutunan. <laughs> madami ako na-share. Pero madami rin ako natutunan sa mga shinere nyo kanina. Kaya, you know, I think madaming, madami na questions. Titignan ko yung comments Sobra. section natin kanina. Sobrang dami na. Maybe, Rika, we can start answering some of them. Yes, of course. So, wag natin patagalin pa. So, let us read our first question. This is for Doc Ferds. Okay, so hanapin ko lang siya. Medyo 419 Aba. daw siya nag-start. Oh, ang dami na eh, Doc Ferds. Actually... <laughs> Ayan. So we have here from Trev. Okay lang ba na naka-cage ang pom ko? Hindi po kasi trained, kaya laging nagkakala. So that is for Doc Ferds. Ayan. So yung, yung uh, crate training, tama, you know, essential for sa house natin na meron silang area where they can, where can, they, where they can feel safe. Uh, we call it crate training, no? So kung, kung wala silang ginagawa, naano sila, it will be less destructive for them and for the owners uh, but however they also need to exercise so kailangan nila ng time ng area to roam around and move around no? plus it is also your responsibility to train them kung anong oras sila magpupup you have to identify no usually mga 5 to 10 minutes after nilang kumain do sila magpupup eh ilagay mo sila doon sa area kung saan sila gust- kung saan mo sila gustong magpup no and hanggang masanay sila ng masanay doon and before you know it Pag nakaramdam sila na kailangan nila mag-poop, mag-pee, hahanapin na nila yung area na yun and they will not mm. be your poop anywhere. So, kailangan mo lang silang, 
kailangan kasama ka sa pag-train sa kanila or yung lahat ng members natin sa bahay, sa household, ay aware din sa ganitong klaseng training. No? Kawawa naman kung yung mga pets natin nakakulong lang yun know, all their, their, their lives. So, so maganda talaga nakakawala siya. Maganda na may crate doon sa area where they can go inside, pero ano lang yun, a uh, few minutes or few, uh, maybe maximum of a couple of hours a day siguro. Alright, thank you, Doc Furt. Actually, ganun pala yun, no? I never knew na ginagawa ko yun sa pag ko before. Kasi after dinner niya, 10 minutes siguro lalabas na kami for walk. And I would always do that. Tapos yes. eventually, natutunan na niya na doon na rin siya mag na number two sa labas. So yes. I was happy. Pero hindi ko alam na yun pala yung crate hinahanap training. Hinahanap na niya. Di ba hinahanap na niya? No? Yes, hinahanap, hinahanap na niya. Ako na tingka lang niya. Automatic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we have another question for Miss Bernie uh, from Eric. Miss Bernie, mukhang meron kayong fan dito. So Eric has a question that we will flash on the screen, I believe. Yes, team. There we go. Pwede po bang malaman yung go-to dress mo na pinapasuot sa inyong mga fur babies? Kahit ano okay. lang, description. <laughs> Actually, this is a weird thing kasi ako pag nagdadala ng pets during events, no, things like that, Scarf lang ang pinapasuot ko. But when, if I do mauling or shopping, tutu skirt, alam mo yung medyo maganda sa you puwet. Would... The butt when they walk, and it's sexy. Yeah. It's nice. Ganun lang. Kasi I don't want them na sobrang balot na balot. Kasi mainit talaga sa bansana. Mm-mm. Actually, That's Miss it. Bernie, ano eh, na-realize ko nga, di ba before sabi nyo, um, doon sa discussion nyo na, after t- picture taking, tanggalin na, if masyadong mainit. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Actually, yun yung na-realize ko. I think ginawa yun ng Doko na unknowingly, tinanggal niya. Like, tinatry niyang tanggalin because naiinitan na. So, I took Kasi that as the... Kasi dangerous din siya. It's really prone mm-hmm. for accidents kapag meron silang mm-hmm. suot. Tapos meron pang... Say, for example, you're in a party tapos nakadamit mm-hmm. sila or event, no? Tapos pinabayaan mo. Oh, hindi naman kasi natin yan mababantayan 100% all the time. Mm-hmm. So, sasabi sa upuan, yung list nila, iikot, and uh, as a responsible parent, kailangan alam natin ito. So, dapat tanggalin natin when it is not needed anymore. Okay. Understandable talaga yun. As in, kailangan talaga parang medyo ano yeah. kayo, no? parang medyo focus ka dun sa, sa pet mo. Um, Mindset. Okay. Yes, that's true. Okay. So, doc, so for Doc Andy, we have a question from Anne, I believe. So Anne is asking, do you have a specific laundry detergent that you use for pets' clothes? So pwede din to kay Doc Andy or kay um, Miss Bernie. Speci- si Doc Andy. <laughs> Hi, sige, good afternoon. Specific laundry detergent. I think wala naman specific brand, but what we usually advise no, do sa mga patients namin, uh, I mean, my human patients, so if the human skin will be very sensitive, what more will be the skin of our pet? Mm. No, yung mga dogs, natin, yung mga cats. So we usually advise them to use my unscented. Kasi yung mga scented ones are full of my chemicals. Sometimes that can cause irritation or dryness. So if we think that it would be hiyang no, sa atin, no? so dapat yun din yung gamitin dun sa paghugas o paglaba dun sa mga costume ng ating mga fur babies. So I strongly believe that yung unscented very mild detergent na soap. And sabi nila, yung mga masyadong bumubula daw with lathering agents, they are quite not very uh, maganda no? doon sa skin ng mga humans. Nagkakaroon so, sila ng allergy. Yes. Nagkakaroon so, sila ng allergy doon sa mga mabubula. Yes. Kasi nabasa ko yung ingredients. Kasi di ba mayroon mga soap tayo na gusto ko yung naglather up talaga. But if you'll be reading journals, hindi siya masyadong maganda kasi they put in additional chemicals. So, I've learned my lesson na, oh, so may certain soap na akala ko hindi siya maganda kasi hindi pala siya bumubula. But if you'll be reading yung ingredients nila or yung label, it's more helpful. It's even more friendly to the skin of us humans and of course for our pets. So, I strongly believe that, I think. How about to you, <coughs> Miss Bernie? Kayo ba? You have something ako specific? Kasi, ako, I'm thankful sa question na to kay Anne kasi... Para ma-remind ang lahat ng ating pet parents na dapat talaga nilalaban at nililinis ang ating mga pet clothes. Kasi normally, they don't. Yung iba, oh my God, ang dumi nyo. 
maglinis kayo ng mga pet clothes. So, kung lalaban siya, ganyan. Ako kasi personally, binababad kasi namin sa vinegar, tapos merong mm. parang powder, uh, sodium, ano kayo, anak? Bicarbonate something. Soda, baking soda, Bicarbon. tapos mga, yeah, yung, yun. <laughs> Hindi ko kasi alam yung scientific name. Pero ganun, medyo natural cleaning kami. And, Uh, yung bago namin siya lab- laban ng second time, sorry Doc Andy, pero talaga nilalagyan ko talaga ng konting PPG. I really believe in the power of PPG kasi talaga. Natatanggal niya talaga lahat ng mga hindi dapat na nandudukon. So kapag nagbababad kami ng mga pet clothes, kasama yun. Oh yes, actually, don't have to be sorry. In fact, be thankful to PPG. <laughs> no? Actually, actually, it's quite useful naman talaga, no? Because yeah. of its antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral na property, which especially mm-hmm. as of this point in time, mukhang kumokonti lang yung mga cases ng COVID, but still we have to be very, very careful with hygiene, no? At sa paglalaba. Kasi sometimes, so I think, I personally believe, yung mga damit ng mga fur babies natin dapat labhan, of course, dapat pati yung mga sinusot natin, dapat labhan din. Because same with you, I do see some people na hindi masyadong naglalaba or yeah. importance of hygiene. And medyo ano yan eh, medyo nasa priority list ko dapat yan eh. <laughs> Tama. Yeah, the, PPG is with you. If I may add, no, yung uh, PPG, hindi siya, hindi siya na bleach. So, yung mamimaintain mo, yung mahal na quality ng, kasi alam mo, yung mga costumes ng mga aso natin, mahal yan. Exactly. <laughs> Mas mahal pa minsan <laughs> sa tapi ko. Eh. So, kung dumi. <laughs> so, you know, you want, you want to be able to use them again and again. So, mm-hmm. so And also, you want to disinfect them at the same time. You, hindi mo kailangan uh, gumamit ng bleach na malabnaw para maano. Kasi when you use bleach, nawawala yung kulay. But with PPG, napipreserve mo yung natural colors nung mga, nung mga damit. No? Nadi-disinfect mo na sila uh, at the same time na gagamit mo pa sila ng matagalan. Ang daming ano, no, advantages of using PPG talaga. So, um, we have another question for Doc Ferds. This is from Mia, I believe. Or, ayan, Mia, how can we provide medical care sa mga dogs sa loob ng bahay? So, does the usual first aid kit for humans, pwede na rin ba yun for pets? Actually, we share, I'm sure si Doc Andy will agree with me. Yung mga, uh, mga antibiotics natin, yung mga antiseptics, we share naman sa humans. No, but do not give you know, antibiotics right away kung hindi naman kailangan talaga ng asa mo. Remember, we need to have a proper, proper doses, yung, yung indication, kailangan tama. No? Yes, to answer your question, yung mga uh, antiseptics, like halimbawa, yung mga betadine, yung uh, fovidone iodine, yung, uh, uh, yung uh, antiseptic ointments, no? you can use them just sa mga cuts, sa mga abrasions, Maganda na meron kayong uh, mga gamit na ito. No? In, in fact, meron akong ginawang kit uh, that I can post siguro, I can send to you, kung ano yung mga pwedeng laman ng uh, medical ah. kit mo for your dogs. No? Nandiyan yung mga, syempre, kailangan may scissor ka, may tape, may gauze, may cotton, meron ka antiseptics, and uh, yung other likes, no? Um, meron din uh, kung halimbawa mahilig magkat-kat yung aso mo maganda rin na meron kang carbon yung, wood, yung uh, activated uh, carbon and then also uh, hydrogen peroxide para mapasuka mo sila kung sakali may kinain sila and you want them to vomit no? so all these things meron akong set na ito na, and then uh, you know kapag bibili ka kasi na specific for dogs medyo mahal pag pumunta ka sa mga mm-hmm. pet shops or pet You can make your own. Madami available na products online. You can just research and then, you know, I can provide a copy for you. In fact, in one of our lectures in the past, we discussed this. Kaya maganda na, you know, balikan natin. And also, you know, but if you need, we can, I, I'm sure Notre Chunks and Protect Plus Gold can provide a copy of that sa ating Facebook uh, comments, uh, uh, which will... Ano, i-reply, i-response natin sa ano mo. Yes, sa... definitely. Iyon naman talaga ang ating goal for today, di ba, ma-inform lahat tayo. Pero, Doc Ferds, Doc Andy, may question ako. How safe is ano ba? Kasi I, I read somewhere, apple cider vinegar. 
mm-hmm. for your dogs. How safe is that? An- ano bang take nyo doon? Ako, it's very, it's safe, no? So, depende ko sa mong gagamitin. Yung vinegar is an acid, no? Kaya, um, and yung apple side is because it came from apples, no? Fermented yung, yung apple. You can use that, madaming gamit yun. Yung iba, pinapainom sa sa dogs nila. Yung iba, ginidil yun sa water. Ang pinaka-useful na uh, pinagagamitan nito is usually sa skin. So, kumuha kayo ng sprayer. Mm-hmm. Sprayer here. Isang bote ng sprayer. Okay, makatik na may kaya. Isang bote ng sprayer, one-third of that, lagay mo ng uh, vinegar, or apple cider vinegar, if you have the funds for it, and then the rest water, ispray mo sa mga, kung may mga, ano yan, mga uh, yeast infection, yung kung mga irritations, no? Yan, very effective yan. Kasi yung yeast, ayaw nila yan, no? Yun nga lang, meron may onting asin na amoy. May konting medyo maasin mm-hmm. for a while, but it's very safe, it's very effective. No? You, you, you just have to keep, you know, uh, administering it, spraying it sa kanila. Diluted, okay? Uh, maganda, if you ha- your dog has skin problems, kumonsulta mo na sa mga, sa veterinaryo para malaman nyo na ito talaga yung tamang, tamang sakit. Kasi, madaming sakit sa balat ang ating mga pets and some of them cannot be answered by just giving them apple cider uh, concoction that I mentioned earlier. Uh, kung that kung mga yeast infection lang and a little bit of fungal infection there, it will definitely help. Hindi man totally may eliminate, but reduce the amount of bacteria and, uh, and yeast there. Eventually, you know, lessening the irritation, yung pangangati nila sa balat. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. Do you have something to add, Doc Andy? Yes. Yeah. Siguro, if I may add something, no, about dun sa first aid kits. Actually, sometimes, if you see the first aid kits sa market, medyo ano siya generic, no, yung laman. So, parang very dekahon yung laman. But actually, I can advise you that you can curate or you can design your own first aid box, no? Kasi hindi naman lahat ng first aid kit kailangan ng, for example, ng... Uh, kasi before, may nakita may mga merthiolate, yung mga everything. Mm-hmm. For all you know, merthiolate, actually, it's really not... Uh, advisable na ginagamit. In fact, I personally would advise dun sa first aid kit, meron saline solution, at least kung nasugatan, or may mga skin na problems, or abrasion, pwede natin siyang gamitin to clean the area. no? Kasi yung mga saline solutions are being sold in sterile bottles, so gusto natin clean pa din yung ginagamit or sterile. And like yung sinabi ni Dr. Ferds Resha kanina, the antibiotics. Of course, we give you mga pampapurga sa mga tao. Meron din for sure yung mga pampapurga sa mga uh, fur babies natin, mga pets natin. And ibang mga antibiotics, antiparasitic drugs. But make sure, make sure that those medications are being used with the right indication. Hindi pwede kasi yung tipong, ay may ganito. Nabasa lang. Yung parang Nabasa pinapasa lang. lang siya. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Parang pinapasa lang from one neighbor to another or nabasa ko lang sa Google, sa Wikipedia, na pwede siya bigyan ng, for example, ng cephalosporin. Well, in fact, we always have to remember yung mga antibiotics na yan, double-edged sword siya. Meaning to mm-hmm. say, meron siyang kabutihan, meron din siyang magiging side effect. So kapag yung sa tingin natin, yung kabutihan or the benefit of giving this particular antibiotics is makakarami or mas makakabigat kesa dun sa maging side effect niya. So yung advantage niya, mas madami, then of course we have to give. But again, very important is kailan natin i-practice yung antimicrobial stewardship. Especially in my line of practice, we don't want to abuse antibiotics because we want to save the antibiotics for the proper indication, for the proper timing, para next time, meron pa tayong antibiotics na magagamit. Otherwise, if we are faced with the real situation na yung mga pets natin, tayo as humans, kailangan natin ng antibiotics na itong cephalosporins, for example. Pero na-abuse na natin in the past kasi pinasapasa lang or may nabasa lang or may nag-recommend lang na kung sino-sino kaibigan, it would not be useful or effective anymore. So, use those antibiotics very, very wisely and properly. I agree 100% si sinabi ni Doc Andy. And it's not just true for our pets, but also for us humans. Kasi yung mga konting minaramdaman lang, iinom ng antibiotic, ng amoxicillin for three days, you are actually, you know, inducing resistance. Kaya nga, kapag hindi na kailangan, hindi na effect. Pag kailangan na, hindi na effective kasi naabuso na natin. Same with our dogs. Same with our fur babies. 
Tama. Okay, so now we have a question for Miss Bernie from Ariel. I believe we will also mm -hmm. flash it on the screen. Uh, this is actually also for, for everyone. Um, but here we go. Good afternoon po. Totoo po ba na pag mas mahal yung price ng dog, mas madami din silang needs? So, anong take nyo doon, Miss Bernie? Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm the right person to answer this, pero that's that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. Uh, there's no uh, equivalence between how much you paid for your dog or if it is adopted uh, with the needs. No, pare pareho ang needs nila. Parang tao mm -hmm. lang din yan, ano? There's no price on if a person is more educated than the other. Eh, mas maraming kailangan yung isa. Tama. There's no truth in that. Oh, pa lahat yan. Kompleto ang kailangan. Mapalibre o mamahal ang bili natin sa kanila. Doc Ferds kayo, may ano kayo dyan? May thoughts kayo? Tamang -tamang Parang ano gusto niyo na? Miss <laughs> Bernie, tamang tama, saktong-sakto. Hindi ko nadadagdagan siya namin. Yun know, ang saktong-sakto yung sinabi mo. Uh, you, you, in fact, kwento ko ng slide, no? Yung uh, misa dumadating, tumatawag din sa clinic, Doc. Uh, may magpapakonsulta sana ang kaso, Doc. Askal po yung aso ko, ha? Sabi ko na po, eh. Kahit askal po ito, or pure breed, or napakamahal na, na pag, pagkakabili, pareho na ang charge natin, pareho ang sakit niya eh. Pareho din yung mga re-reseta natin. So, walang pagkakaiba kung mahal ang pagkakabili sa aso, or inadapt mo lang, or binigay lang sa'yo. Pare-pareho lang po yan. Pare-pareho silang kailangan ng basic needs, pare-pareho nilang kailangan ng magandang pagkain, pare-pareho nilang kailangan at dapat bigyan ng tamang pagmamahal. At tamang responsibilidad natin sa kanila ay, you know, regardless of whether they're, uh, you know, expensive or, or free mm -hmm. or na, nakuha lang natin. I love that. Yeah. I love hearing that from all of you. Okay, last question for Doc Andy. This is from Kelly Celeste. Um, Kelly says, when it comes to infections or pag-spread, pag po ba mas maliit yung space, mas madaling magkahawaan. Mm. Okay, so I like that question kasi uh, hindi naman siya 100% true, no? Kapag maliit yung space, I mean, in fairness, if you're living in a condo, no, na mag-isa ka lang, it doesn't mean naman na mas mabili siya makahawa, especially if you're just on your own or with your fur baby. But as a dictum kasi, if we are dealing with yung mga airborne na infection sa tao, katulad ng mga tuberculosis, Okay, mga measles. Of course, the smaller the space, kapag wala kang ventilation, yung tinatawag natin air exchange, mas mababa. Kung mas mababa yung air exchange, the chances for you to be mahawa do sa mga airborne infections, mas mataas talaga. That's a given fact. That's why, uh, if you can notice, most of the cases of the people with tuberculosis, which is quite endemic dito sa atin, if you'll see, if you'll ask further, ano ba yung common denominator nila? Medyo overpopulated sa isang place, medyo crowded, kulang sa bintana, kulang sa uh, electric fan, yung air exchange. So those are very important. Mm -hmm. So as long as we have the proper ratio, no? Kasi kapag malaki naman yung bahay masyado or malaki yung space, but living in the, inside that house is 100 people naman. So same lang din naman. So if maliit yung space, but ang nakatira doon is just one or two, not much of a problem. So I think it's more of the ratio no between dun sa nakatira and dun sa area rather than dun sa absolute square meter on how big or how small is that area. So still, ventilation, hygiene, cleanliness, mm -hmm. and of course, the use of PPG. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course. And uh, thank you for that. That's super clear. And last one, general question who wants to answer na lang, um, for our uh, panel. Um, from Al James, uh, he asks, Ano pong mangyayari sa dogs kapag unmet yung needs nila? Oh, yes. So, Miss Bernie, do you want to start, Miss Bernie? Um... Ang lalim ng tanong, ano? Ang lalim. Kasi pag unmet ang needs, no? And there are so many needs ng ating pets. Pero sa akin, uh, naniniwala ako na kapag unmet ang needs ng dogs, uh, nagiging malungkot yung bahay. I will be on the lifestyle part, no? The practicality of it. Malungkot kasi malungkot din sila. So, yun na nakikita ko. But uh, other than that, syempre hindi sila magiging healthy. Hindi sila masaya. Hindi ka rin masaya. 
because when your dogs are aching or meron silang nararamdaman, nasasaktan ka rin, di ba? Kasi love mo yung yeah. mga dogs. Kayo, Doc Ferds. Yes, so of course yan. Pinag-usapan naman natin kanina sa discussion natin. If me, if needs are not met properly, magkakaroon tayo ng problema. No? Kung halimbawa, hindi nyo masyado pinapansin at binibigyan ng oras yung, yung paglabas ng isang very active na dog, they will become destructive. Magkakaroon tayo ng maninira ng bahay, kangat ka tinyang sapatos, yung sofa, they will destroy our house and you will have problems. No? If you don't give them their proper needs sa kanilang pagkain, sa shelter, sa medicines, you will have problems. Madali silang makasakit, madali silang makahawa, at madali silang umiksi ang kanilang buhay. No? So, again, to answer, to clearly answer that question, if needs are not properly met, we will have problems. That's why kailangan natin i-identify yung basic needs. And we have to be responsible enough to know the, these needs and provide it uh, for them as responsible parents, parents. No? So, yun yung uh, bulk and actually essence of our talk. Oh, I don't know. Kayo ba, Doc Andy, do you have any thoughts on that? Sorry, I think there was a technical glitch a while ago. What was the question again? Sorry. So the yeah. question, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, yung question is, ano daw yung mangyayari sa dogs kapag unmet yung needs nila? Do you have any oh, thoughts oh, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've read the question nga tama. If unmet yung needs nila, if like what Dr. Francis discussed a while ago, yung mga hierarchy of needs, just like humans, if hindi siya na-meet, na hindi siya nabigyan ng proper food, proper nutrition, especially right now, it's quite hot outside, if they're not mm. properly hydrated, they can go into, like humans, acute kidney problems because yeah. of dehydration. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. a human. Let's say if dehydrated, you can have acute kidney injury leading to dialysis eventually. And I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure doctors are also in our pets, no? Yes. Mm-mm. I agree with you. All right. Well, there you have it, you guys. Thank you for staying tuned. Alam nyo, ramdam na ramgudam ko yung virtual warmth from your active participation. Kasi nakita nyo naman, guys, diba, sobrang daming questions. Hindi na natin sila masasagot lahat. But I hope yung mga discussion nila, guys, nasagot naman yung mga questions nyo. And hindi pa naman ito yung tapos ng ating, uh, pagtatapos ng ating discussion. Kasi may next episode pa tayo. So, Tunay namang napakabibo ng ating parents. Ang dami nagtatanong. Kinulang na tayo sa tan. But in case you missed something, you may go back and rewatch this Essentially For You episode. And yes, pwede niyo siyang balikan. You can also share the video. Pwede niyo screenshot yung important details and information. And don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And visit our official website, www.sunmiguelpetcare.com. And then their Facebook and Instagram is at NutriChunks. Pomely. And now, here's Miss Birdie to give her final tips and message. No, uh, my final message is just don't forget to be a blessing to each other. Be kind to everyone and every fur. Lagi natin tatandaan ang pagdadamit ng ating aso o ng kahit na anong ating alaga. Dapat kung paano din tayo magdamit. That's times two. So let's always make them feel comfortable and safe. Yun lang. Yes, that's a good point, Miss Bernie. And now let's have Doc Andy's takeaways or key points. Okay, so thank you. So of course I had a great session Facebook Live this afternoon. Of course, as a doctor, hindi lang talagang health of the people, no, the ang inaalagaan natin. Of course, for the fur babies, for the future na mga parents, at chadu sa mga expert or veteran na parents na, no. So, of course, we always have to keep in mind, we have to keep the environment for both of our pets and us humans to be safe by using a very effective broad spectrum and very, very safe product, the PPG. Thank you very much. Till the next session. Thank you, Doc Andy. And now let's have Doc Ferds. Yeah, so kanina kasi in the first part of our discussion, the canine hierarchy of needs of our babies, sinabi ko kanina na our fur babies need be survival and basic needs, no? But you know what, guys? The most important thing that they need, it's you. Ikaw, for it. No, your fur babies need yeah. to be responsible to provide for them and to treat them as if they're your own. So everyone can be a parent. Remember that everyone can be a parent, but not everyone can be a good parent yet. So do not shop or even adopt unless you can provide. And of course, before we go, so to keep our pets healthy, and happy choose nutrichunks para listo ganado din sila 
All right, there we go. Thank you, Doc Andy, Doc Ferds, and Miss Bernie. And that is a wrap. Gusto ko na umuwi tuloy, tapos gusto ko na makipaglaro kay Maxi, our Labrador. <laughs> it's truly a learning experience. And remember, um, Nutri Chunks Pomely, they have your back, okay? Thank you guys to all the porns who participated and joined us today. And once again, I'm Rico Garcia, your host. See you until our next Hashtag Pomely Planning episode only here at Nutri Chunks Pomely. Enjoy your weekend. Happy parenting. Stay safe, healthy, and protected. But most importantly, be informed. Bye, guys. Happy afternoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.